And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Twisted Ezreal. We got Puppy joining us for a little bit. Um, yeah, so basically if you... All right, so I was talking about during our metagame breakdown that if the, the format's slower, which I think it, it will be, that could be really good for Ezreal. A, f a slower format, this card it can just win games very quickly in the late game and um, is, is a card that definitely benefits from a slower format. Uh, pair that with Bilgewater that didn't have anything change. And so we still have Black Market Merchant, Pill for Goods, Make It Rain, um, Twisted Fate, you know, like all these cards are the same. And uh, we have a pretty decent deck. And so I want to give this one a try. I know this deck struggled against, against like bigger units from like Demacia. Like Demacia curving out with like Vi and Decythria. Like that, that's really where this deck struggles. Um, and maybe with the Grizzled Ranger nerf, maybe we'll play against a little less Demacia. But, um, but yeah, there's, there's just like some really powerful things going on here. A lot of card advantage. Um, you know, like, yeah, so like we're playing just all this card advantage from Bilgewater and then a nice finish with Ezreal. So let's give it a try. We're going to go play five games over in ranked. We got the brand new arcade board to try out. I'm not sure what, you know, what the music for this board sounds like or anything like that. The update is live. Yes, it went live about three and a half hours ago. Uh, we've played three decks so far. Got two other ones to try out. We're going to be playing another Hecarim deck up after this. And then trying this control killer, basically. Like, we're, like this deck's really good against other control decks. So if like we have a slower format, more control, um, this should be good. You may need to like force quit your application and then like if, if you're on mobile, you may need to like force quit and then rejoin it, reopen it up. All right, the music's already really good. Playing against a deep strategy. Yeah. I don't really like any of these cards against a deep strategy. I just have one rummage in here. We're not going to always have things that we want to discard, but sometimes we'll like steal stuff from them we don't want. Um... So I got one rummage. And of course, make it rain with Ezreal, you know, can be three targets. Like this helps level up Ezreal really fast. One shot, all skill. Unfortunate. Small, but she ain't lacking courage. Get rid of that, Jaw Hunters. But this is not a great Pilfer Goods matchup. Because all we're doing is getting them closer to having Nautilus and Maokai and getting deep and all that kind of stuff. Twisted Fate blue card and potentially if they don't have removal for Twisted Fate like if I get to do damage we can potentially level up Twisted Fate Looks like trouble. see so that's number two so that'll be three four five six seven eight
Do I keep Atrocity? Probably. Atrocity's probably doing more than those things. Looks like I'm on a hot streak. Alright, let's play this thing right away. Could go Thermogenic Beam and red card it. Kind of like that. Let's see. And then if they just untap and immediately challenge, then I just play two things and red card again. And then it kills that. I think I like that. Something for all of you. Yes, when when Twisted Fate levels up, this order is always blue, then red, then gold. Cezreal said Nat 4. No, Riptide Rex. Come on back, you hear? This is gonna tab me out just doing those two things. <laughs> Probably leveled up Twisted Fate so early. Now it's always blue, then red, then gold when it levels up. Of course, you get to choose which one you want whenever it enters. Alright, this board's pretty sweet. I like this board music. Alright, we're at nine cards. That's good. Not ten. to find another Ezreal. Let's pray Finn. Keep up, keep up. Blue as the serpentine. Get excited, it could have been really good. I've dealt with you Shadow Isles types before. They are nothing like me. Ezreal's at 6 out of 8, so this can make it make Ezreal 8 out of 8.
I don't know if I needed to level up Ezreal or not. We'll see if we draw an Ezreal. So now, like, you know, everything else, we can just kind of go upstairs. They usually have, like, some life gain and everything. So I don't, I don't want to, like, just go... I want to try to play for, like, a longer game. Like, they have a, a higher life total. I don't want to just go all in. Alright, still have four mana left. It's not bad. Basically, red card, gold card. Like, they'll gain two life with the red card. Like, they're just going to be gaining this life. It's basically impossible for me to stop that. But hopefully, like... I think that should happen and kill this 3-3 before... Yeah, so the 3-3 is going to die before they uh, toss and... And go deep. All right, so this happens. It's fine. Dead in their tracks. Wondering. I guess the answer is yes. Lilies? Where are you? They have another withering whale. Stop, stop happy. I'm in trouble. If they don't have withering whale, this game's probably over. Or if we just find Ezreal. All or Boo. It's like the only thing that the only thing that keeps me from not winning right away is Withering Whale. Right, let's see. Um It's just not really worth it doing atrocity. Is it worth playing something else, getting, like, blue card? Like, do I get excited to get blue card? Eh. Gotta trust your instincts. Because <laughs> I want to play Yordle Grifter, and I kind of want to have Thermogenic Beam available for, like, a Maokai. Cards left in it. Yeah, you don't want to cross. Me. No, whiffed. No. Where is Ezreal? Yeah, exactly. We do have to find Ezreal before Maokai levels, that is true. The water rises. We're looking. We're looking for Ezreal. Now, where was I?
Stop having so much life gain. Yay, there's Ezreal. Finally. Just wanted to keep the par like wanna keep the par like I wanna keep the cheap spells for Ezreal. Take it up with my friends. Got four cards left. Ugh. Hope I don't mill out. I'd like to draw the other Ezreal. Fast spell that does damage, that'll do. You will feast soon enough. So it has to be less than, right? So if I just get excited this thing, it turns it into a 7-4, then we're okay. As far as I know. But is that is that worth it? Can I just kill them? Let's see. We have ten mana. So warning shot does three. Let's just cast this thing. So they're at seven. This should do five, and then just play something else like make a rain, static shock. Should kill them. I know you're thinking and stuff, but could you maybe speed things up a little? Why don't you let me see what's going to happen with the Oracle's Eye because of, because make it rain? Because, yeah, that puts him down to two, and then this should kill them. Should. I wish I could keep Atrocity up. I can't, but we can keep Static Shock. Oh, gosh. Really? Come on. Had the other atrocity. The deck was stacked against us. Yeah, so I could have, I could have played around that by just blocking with Twisted Fate. You know, I could, I could have still been at like 20 life. That was my mistake there. I should have just blocked with Twisted Fate. Of course, they could have atrocity to kill the Ezreal. But we still would have been looking at having another Ezreal. Stunning with... Yeah, it's going to be difficult to stun with Twisted Fate. It would, have, it would have been difficult to stun with Twisted Fate and have a bunch of spells for Ezreal. It would have been easier just to block. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to keep Get Excited in the opener. I don't really need Ezreal in the opener. I'll write my own story. But Get Excited in the opener is not something I really like, because you don't really have things that you want to discard early on. That's more of a later on I want to discard something kind of thing, usually. Yeah, maybe if I would have just obliterated the... Or, uh, get excited the obliterate fish. It's a tough one to play. So I got all this dog hair in my face. I keep scratching my face.
Why does it... Oh, I should have killed Sithri because she's elite. I don't imagine that matters. Never lost a fair game. Or played one. Who says I don't share? Have a good Demacia Shadow Isles deck. Um, we're playing one up. We're playing one next. Next, the donation deck is a Demacia Shadow Isles deck. I have not played it before, but we are gonna be playing that up next. So my plan's like Thermogenic Beam this three three. I like the music on the board. You are right, it is a little subdued, but I like it. Alright, let's mess some folks up. Nothing gets between me and my mother. I should have Thermal Junk Beam this Badger Bear, and they attack with these, then I Twisted Fate Red Card. It, it does make it more obvious what I'm trying to do with Twisted Fate Red Card. No prey, no pay. Hamster. I'll be damned. Still heart steady aim. No. What are gold is gold card better than red card? It's not bad trading a one mana thermogenic beam for a Quinn. That's not bad. Oh, I didn't put in any of the new emotes or anything in here. Alright, so my plan is, you know, Ezreal hit them with Elusive, get a Mystic Shot, Mystic Shot the Quinn, Watch and, learn. and then play Black Market Merchant. <laughs> all natural skill, all natural goals. Hmm. Maybe you have to kill that Laurent Chevalier, actually. 
come on, they have a rally? Please don't tell me they have rally. They do have a rally. I think Riptide Rex counts as I guess it is targeted enemies. So does it does that level up Ezreal just completely by itself? I guess I would assume so. Targeted enemies. I kind of wanted a, I wanted like a make it rain. That was the ideal card. Just like hunting pressure geese. About to level up. So I'll be at three. I know you're thinking and stuff, but could you maybe speed things up a little? They get a valor to attack, so I have to block everything. Still doing just fine. If they just drew a rally and like cast rally during my combat, that would have been really bad for me. Let's see if this levels up as real or not. It does. I thought so. Yeah, server should be going live for everybody at the same time. Basically, four hours ago, it should be going live for everybody. Um, I had to close out and re-enter to get the patch to to go. All right, there we go. One and one, and we beat the beat the Demacia deck. The Demacia was like my name. That was. Definitely the kind of deck that we struggled with the most before. Grizzled Ranger, not hitting for much. Definitely helped because I, you know, I was down to three life. Uh, 
Oh, where? I need my, my team. Oh, there we go. Definitely need my Teemo emote. So yeah, I don't know why anybody wouldn't have it because that's like that was like the whole thing about having it today is that it was supposed to be implemented yesterday. Like that's what they were doing, you know, on was, you know, they announced it on Monday, they implement it in game on Tuesday, and then they release it to everybody at the same time on Wednesday. I don't know why before on Tuesdays, like the different the different servers and stuff were like, you would get the patch at different times. Emote meta, what is it looking like? The This one is uh, top tier. That is, that is like, you know, S plus tier. Yeah, they, they, they do have great emotes. Wait. Unexpected cards. I'll take unexpected cards for 400, Alex. I was gonna do Twisted Fate Red card, but now we have Static Shock. That's probably better because that levels up Ezreal, right? <sighs> Haven't been seeing that combo too much today. We speak with blades. Hmm. The make it rain plus static shock to get rid of things combo I'm referring to. My shield is yours. Never lost a fair game. Or played one. Bad Fiora. Get stunned. Don't attack. Hold it, partner. Yeah, I could twist a fade early to get draws from. I just figured that like that twisted like they the two cards did the same thing, but twisted fate has like the opportunity to do a lot of other things and and. Um, therefore I just took the... Hmm, I kind of want to block. I want to just keep the life total high and block. Gotta trust your instincts. That is my instincts. Quick. Come out. 
everything I've worked for. So they got four cards, I'm at six. They got the three spell mana. Parlay the parlay this this next turn. So that then I can turn on pill for goods. Ooh. Riptide Rex. It is me. Please calm yourselves. Um, question is, if you wanted to run a Mage Seeker deck with the new patch, which region would you pair Demacia with? I, I've liked that pairing with Shadow Isles in the past. Interested in trying that out. I wonder if Brood Awakening and Mage Seekers pair well together. It's intriguing. Why they keep passing? Feels like they should challenge with Chevalier. Even if they don't have anything in hand, they should challenge with Chevalier. Just have these trade and then. Um, and then still be able to play a new challenger. Steel formation. All right, we've targeted 14 times now. <laughs> Riptide Rex just levels up Ezreal by itself. I long for a worthy opponent. Just like free level up. I'm so good, I surprised myself. Definitely feel like I'm playing I'm the bad guy here with playing Ezreal. to go for lethal with all the fast spells but who knows you know, like they have like a single combat something to kill my Ezreal it's a little unnecessary we don't need to
Oh, really, Numdegur? Oh, that was the deck I was going to make it for the meme tier Monday was the all-in fizz. But I guess, I guess one's doing that right now. We played against an opponent doing, playing a deck, you know, an all-in fizz deck. It looked really cool. Like, just, you know, playing against it, not so I was going to, you know, build one. Like it. Have, um... Have shared spoils and entreat to, like, always draw fizz, and then have, like, battle fury. Alright, we're two and one. Two and one. I probably could have played that first game better. Just kind of getting used to playing this deck after playing a couple of straightforward beat em down decks, the two previous ones. Alright, Braum Vladimir. Braum's difficult for us in the. F in, uh. In the respect that uh, it's really hard for us to kill a five toughness thing. I basically always mulligan Ezreal, because Ezreal is like a great champ later on, but it's uh, vulnerable early on. What am I doing? Pass. This is something we want to do this turn two, where we have three mana, we parlay, deal one, one, and then go for goods. Yeah, I, I think I could have won that first game. And I had to like get get in the mindset of our deck. There's a whole lot of decisions in that first game. It was it was a tough game. It wasn't it wasn't an easy one. I was kinda used to the easy games. Previous two. Gotcha. I found my family, my blood. Gotcha, Crimson Curator. And I had to take the Elixir of Iron, so I didn't, didn't have that card. All right, let's draw some more cards. Got all the parlays. Could double parlay that thing. Get two Ezreal triggers. Be grateful I even noticed. Yeah. Single parlay. Never mind, we all good. Single single parlay. Ooh. Not all good. Not all good. Not all good. If they mattered, I'd let them live. Man, this is just such a big risk. They, I mean, if they have another take heart, I'm in so much trouble. Or a transfusion. I'm 
I'm in a lot of trouble. Alright, so Vladimir is just leveled up. I would have played Make It Rain first. I can't I can't afford Make It Rain to target that thing. I could thermogenic beam this and put it down to three loyalty and then block with Twisted Fate somewhere else and then Noxion Fervor. It's not great. No, 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 Sorry. I wanted to do this. Discard. There we go. Discard that and that. Sorry, I almost gave myself a heart attack. All right, so six out of eight for Twisted Fate. That was close. Oh, no! That'll be seven. So I could have done the salvage and, and of course, um, leveled up immediately. Actually, that, that was actually good for me. But I went with 8 because I wanted this to be leveled up and then I wanted to be able to play salvage the next turn uh, to be able to get, you know, because I was thinking that I have to work towards gold card during combat. So that's actually kind of good for me because now gold card will stun this and gold card won't stun the Omen Hawk now. So I do have to get to gold card, so I have 8 mana. Um, so that means I have to draw something that costs two or less. Yeah, that, that does hurt that I had to use my Elixir of Iron, though. We live here. I need that Elixir of Iron. Come on, something that costs two or less. No! Oh, I'm not going to get the gold card. Oh. Bugger. I don't know, maybe I should've just gone for Get Excited plus Noxion Fervor and just try to kill this thing with that mana instead of going for Gold Card. I don't I don't see any way I, I can stay alive. I mean, I guess if I do this... No, because if I cast anything else, it, it's red card, so I lose. There's, there's not a way for me to stay alive. This game's over. Because, you know, if I use removal on, like, one of these things... I play another thing, which red cards the Twisted Fate, which gives this plus three, plus zero, and then that's lethal. So I guess the safer play, instead of going towards gold card, the safer play would have been to... Um... I already did update. There's another another update. Would have been to try to just use the two removal spells on the Verena, but then any any defensive card whatsoever they have breaks that up. I feel like going for gold card was safer. But I disc I discarded Parlay and what was the other card I discarded to Rummage? It was another it was a cheap card. But I, I don't remember if it was a fast spell or not.
Oh, that's true. If I would have just gone for... Maybe i just go for casting the three spells without playing the salvage. Could I have just played three spells for gold card without? Okay, it was make it rain. Yeah, Ugh, so it was make it rain. So I, I shouldn't have discarded make it rain. I thought I was going to have my elixir of iron, to be honest. But that got that plan got broken up. This is not an easy deck to play. This is a really difficult deck to play. I don't know, I guess I just keep all this removal. Seems like that's what we're supposed to do with the Ezreal deck. Yeah, so we get new new screens after you log in. I like that. I'm glad we took Grass Through Undying. It would kill my Ezreal, because I do kind of just want to play Ezreal right now and start generating Mystic Shots. The problem, of course, is if they have another removal spell, but their deck doesn't play that much removal, and we just took one. Yeah, whenever you're looking at your deck in your collection on the left-hand side... Do I just pass? Have them waste all that mana? They just passed? It's not like Mystic Shotting this thing's that great anyway. Question is what deck's easy to play with a good win rate? Um, the Demacia decks, probably. Like like the Shen Barrier we just got done playing. Um, I don't know, maybe that, that Vladimir Sejuani deck that we just got done playing also felt really good. And that's kind of an easier deck to play. One shot, all skill. Get those withering whales out of there. Can't stop me. Mm. All right, well, it went deep very fast. I need to just level up this Ezreal. That's what I need to do. Oh, we only stole two cards. It would be a deep anyway.
It's looking like I'm pretty dead. very good at Ezreal decks, am I? I don't feel like I play these very well. I'm just kind of going back and forth of like trying to level up Ezreal, if I'm going to have time to do that, or if I just start trying to do as much damage, like just fire all these off at them. And so I decided decided to try to just fire off all this damage at them. But then really thinking about it, no, I think we, I think we do have to try to level up Ezreal. So I wish I would have uh, targeted this thing. That's not bad, that gets me to six. If they have any removal, I lose, obviously. But they don't have removal. I think we win. Like, they play something. I static shock that thing and Nautilus, level up Ezreal, and then fire off all these at them. Like, that's, that's my plan of winning. That's about all I got right now. very smart for them just to pass because they could just go go straight to combat with the Nautilus and kill me. So the onus is on me to do stuff. I guess I do have to kill that thing. Ugh. I know I you're thinking and stuff, but could you maybe speed things up a little? Yeah, I think Sea Monster Control is one of the one of the very best decks. It's it's definitely a very easy day one deck to play for sure right now. I think that's that's um, you know we've been playing against it a whole bunch today, and it's it's really powerful. And yeah, it's in a good spot. Question was, how do you think Sea Monster Control will be after the pass? It definitely got helped a lot because the format slowed down and that's that's very good for the deck especially with atrocity the atrocities looked amazing so we ended up going even though we ended up going two and three our deck felt like it had a lot going a lot of good things going right for it i think this was a really difficult deck to play and i don't th and i don't think i played it perfectly it's just it's not really like Everybody has like different play styles and different things that um, are easier or harder for them to play. This I don't know. I've never been that good at playing as real decks. But um, like the first game, I really don't think that we should have lost. That we did, you know, the first game that we lost. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of a lot of tough decisions in these kind of decks. But if you like control, if you like th these kind of puzzles, if you like Ezreal. Uh, I really recommend giving this deck a try, and also if you if you are giving it a try, let me know in the comments. You know, because like I said, I don't think that I played this perfectly, but I think this is a good deck, and I think there's, you know, it felt really powerful. It felt like there was a lot of really good stuff. Um, uh, yeah, I could see playing like another like a second Gotcha instead of a Zap Sprayfin. I could see doing that, um, or instead of a Yordle Grifter, like instead of one of those. Maybe another rummage, um, you know. Maybe it is better to go uh, like a second rummage and maybe play Chump Wump instead of Grifter or Sprayfin. I really like Grifter, you know, turning on Riptide Rex. I think that's pretty big. Um, 
uh, by by having the warning shot. But the rummage did look pretty good as like a way to to level up Twisted Fate super fast. Um, the salvage was always kind of awkward. Maybe maybe just take out salvage. Maybe that turns into an, a gotcha or a rummage. It's always just kind of awkward of like having to spend four mana to draw the two cards. Don't really want to spend that much mana. This deck was pretty sweet though. It, was, it felt real powerful. Um, you know, like, yeah, that's that's kind of like uh, what I'd have to say after this one. So that's that's what the like the records can can be deceiving. You know, like even though this one just went two and three by me, uh, somebody that's a better Ezreal pilot could have had a better record with it. Um, but and I think <clears throat> I'm I'm not sure. Like how, like, I'm not sure how Ezreal faces against Nautilus in general. Traditionally, like Ezreal versus Nautilus, who's favored? I don't know. I'm just not that experienced with Ezreal, like in that matchup, Ezreal versus Nautilus. Um, but there's something to do to make the Nautilus matchup better. Um, you know, if you have if you have any ideas for any tech against Nautilus decks, you know, again, feel free to. Feel free to let me know in the comment section over for those y'all watching on YouTube. But lots of good stuff here. We didn't face any control decks. I think this deck is a, a big time control killer. I think that's like really our good matchups, our other control decks. I think it's just, um, you know, not only like the inevitability with Ezreal, but then also the card stealing, which is really good against control. Um, and then just so much card advantage. I think this, this deck's awesome against control. And uh, unfortunately, we did you know didn't face control at all. Um, but uh, yeah, there we go, Twisted Ezreal. Um, all right, those y'all watch on YouTube, also hit that like button over there, of course, with those comments as well. Thanks so much for watching, though, and I'll see you for the next video.